the maestro. I know that. That's it. That's it. That's it. The maestro. The maestro. Dirty. Shots! Really? I think that would be cool though. Why? Ooh. The maestro. Shots! How about you hold it? There's a lady in the waiting room. She got legs and run forever. Okay, welcome to a dirty short. Okay, welcome to my dirty shorts. <laughs> I know, right? You think I stopped laughing by now. I can't help it. Just blame my producer. His name is idea for the title. And uh, yeah, <laughs> this is how small your world can be. So this this is this, this be story time with Maestro. So my old heads know most of my prof professional attempts at sports happen in baseball. My longest. A few hit and miss there with football. And very few with basketball. A summer league tryout here. Uh, another league tryout there. But there was one tryout in particular that was kind of weird. I'm actually on tour as a musician. I get called by a college teammate who's playing overseas to come try out for his team in Turkey. I'm like, why not? <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's Tuesday. Go make a tryout. So this is when they had the rule. You could only you could have so many American players on the team. There were there used to be a lot of rules about this. And I, I forgot them exactly. Please fact check me on this. But I think you're going to have so many players on the team from the United States and you can only play so many at one time if you had more than a number or something to that effect. When I believe it was Turkey. I go over. I meet my guy. It was in between dates of the tour I was on. He introduces me to the coach. They work me out. Okay, we'll make it an official tryout. Now, this is going to be very important for later. I get the workout. I get the tryout. And the coach actually says at the end of the, first, at the, end of the about three hours or so, he goes, he says, how would you like to stay and play? Now, I was making more money with the artists I was touring with as a musician, but it wasn't about that. I was so t torn. I said, let me think about it. Went back to the hotel, looked at my calendar. They gave me their schedule. He told me about how much I'd be making. I'm looking at all these things, even though money wasn't really the issue. It was the issue. It's a chance to play pro ball. It's in another country, but it's a chance to play pro ball, right? One bucket list check off. Needless to say, I kind of chickened out because it was in the middle of the tour with this artist. I didn't want to stick them out by trying to find another musician to fill my shoes because I was actually filling in for someone else who had left at the start of the tour. So that wouldn't have been fair. Eh, I chickened out. Flash forward from that moment, 10 years, at least. One of my cousins is introducing everybody to her fiance. And he was. A pretty known player in the Division Two ranks of college basketball. So she's bragging about how he's a pro, he was a pro athlete. He was this. He was that. I don't know what sport. I find out later it was basketball. Get a chance to go over, show up at the restaurant. There he is standing with her, and he goes, "You're that dude." Excuse me. I know you. So I'm thinking, okay, he probably knows me as a musician, seen me play with somebody, see me on TV, whatever. He goes, he tells everybody around, you played pro ball in Turkey. And I'm like, no, I didn't. I, just, I thought they offered you a job. And I'm like, I hadn't told anyone that. No one knew. 
And he begins to tell the story of my tryout and me being there and how excited the coach was and how excited the, the management was and everything. And I said, how do you know this? And he goes, who was there? He was trying out with the college squad on the other side of the gym. It is a small world when you get to this level. So trust me, you guys who are playing together now, you're going to see a lot of each other across the board. Might as well go on and stay cool. Go on and stay friends. You just never know who you're going to run into. And that moment just made me laugh because of all the things that people, he, of all the things that somebody would remember, he was there for that brief ad lib moment in the middle of nowhere. You just never know. <laughs> and it still makes me laugh. Thank you for checking out my shorts. You know what's up with my shorts. I'm glad you like my shorts, even when they're dirty. Oh, wait, you want me to read? Thank you for listening to The Maestro. Thank you again for checking out The Maestro. Dirty shorts. Drop a tag below and give us a piece of your mind. See you next time and... The Maestro. Dirty. Yes!